What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So consider this a small weird setup guide for Xenia Canary because it has a few extra steps that you'll probably need to do to get patches working. So we begin with downloading, clicking, minimizing, dragging and dropping. So when you start this, it's going to create a setup file right here. This is what we're going to be editing, but we're not done. Now that we have the emulator open, you could easily just start an ISO and have it working. But what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be dropping down game patches. To do this, it downloads it after clicking the code button. See? Download. Once that's done, downloads and open the game patches folder. You'll see this. You want the patches folder. Drag and drop. Now, I'm going to close this out for now. We go into the patches folder. Find the game you want to modify, and most people are looking for Fable 2. Double click to open. Here we are. To enable patches, you just have to change false to true on every single one of these. And honestly, um, doing that to all of them is probably the best bet. So we're going to go to replace, and we're going to just, we're going to type false. And we're going to change it to true and we're going to hit replace all and that way we have everything enabled so this enables collector's edition content uh website items high tick rate which is really useful fixing the dogs morphing and heroes textures stuff like that and it disables a graphical bug enables higher resolution and enables 60 fps and above hitting save makes it so so that's it you've learned how to play patch uh, place patches enable patches nothing needs to be done in here at all unless you're playing arcade games we'll take a look though and if we come down here if we're going to be playing arcade games we want to change this from zero to one that way games won't be like demos now, starting up the emulator is pretty simple. Double click. Uh, we do have some options hidden right here on post processing, which is FSR. You'll want to enable that. And we're basically going to turn this. Is it down or up? Lower is sharper. We're going to have it lower. Don't touch this. FXAA is ugly. Opening games is as simple as, well, find where your games are located. For me, this is going to take a long time to load because of how many drives I have. Now, you can load disk images or Xbox executables. It should not be taking this long. This is ridiculous. Uh, backup. Xbox 360. I don't care if you're pirate or not. It doesn't matter to me. Do whatever you have to do to enjoy yourself, okay? Now... I have Able 2 here, I have Perfect Dark Zero here, and I have Perfect Dark the original from the N64 modified in high resolution here, and Bean here. We open up Bean, it's going to take a second to load, and it's loaded. So if you don't know what Bean is, it's the remaster of 007 Goldeneye. Now, there are no FPS counters. Um, there used to be builds with them, but I don't know what happened to them. But uh, yeah, this is how you play, see? And no, this is not emulation, which makes it better than normal. Got him right in the side of the head, see that? Now there are game patches for this one as well. Come <laughs> on. 
So you may notice that the original game looks like smeared Vaseline. Yeah, this is where patches come in handy. So once again, we're gonna exit, we're gonna go into patches, and we're gonna find Bean. Where is it just known as 007? I don't remember. Where is it? I don't know if they actually keep it in here. Let's search for Bean. There it is. We're gonna open this up once again. We're gonna turn this to true. Better textures at a distance. We're gonna turn this to true because it removed the Vaseline. So you can see. Um, don't need the debunk menu and I don't need that. So we're just gonna hit that. We're gonna go back. We're gonna start this up. Make sure you maximize the window. Open recent. Search and start bean. Anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share, do all this cool stuff, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.